calling the meeting to order tonight. This is the Hopkins and Area Land Trust Annual Meeting, September 25th, 2019. Welcome. On the left side is board members, and on the right side of the board members, I'd like to introduce Jeff Ferber, <coughs> Mari Gasser, Mavis O'Leary, Chuck, Chuck Douchy, Steve Lewandowski on my right, Ed Brome, Steve Frobeter, and Ken Parker, and myself, I'm Barry Rosenblum. Welcome. We have a sh uh, an agenda that's shown. Uh, we have uh, gone around the room. We have a few attendees in here from membership. Oh, thank you. And on the Skype, we have uh, Dave Goldman, our Director Emeritus from Arizona tonight. Welcome, Dave. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for reading my note on my page. <laughs> so the rest of the agenda, we're going to talk about the trust and what we do. We're going to explain our functions and accomplishments. Uh, financial reports from the prior fiscal year ending March 31st, 2019. We'll have some business to elect and re-elect three directors that we need everybody that's a member to vote on. And then we're going to have a, a rundown of trust accomplishments. Uh, and, and again, what we do in a little bit of detail. Review our accomplishments against our 2019 and 20 goals. And we'll stop and uh, see if there's any audience questions at that point. And that's it. So I'm going to move on to the uh, little bit of an explanation about what the land trust is. Um, when we were established in 1994 with the charter, it was to assist in acquiring and maintaining Hopkinton's open space and conservation land. It's interesting, it's a standalone corporation. It's not an entity related to the town government. It was formed by five residents of Hopkinton. It's a federal nonprofit and a state nonprofit corporation. And everybody on the board are volunteers. All of the labor and energy that goes into maintaining this trust and its responsibilities are done on volunteer hours from the nine of us and some supported by about eight other land steward volunteers. Um, the budget is funded purely through membership dues and donations that we get annually. Okay. A, a short excerpt, I've highlighted the main emphasis from the trust mission statement. The trust is formed to preserve, maintain, and conserve land in Hopkinton, in the boundaries of this town. Also, we take on a role of educating the public. We have a new website now that we hope will, will uh, really lead that effort a bit further and we'll refer more people to it with some educational material. We also facilitate the use um, and encourage land conservation in talking to homeowners, developers, and working with the town. And that's our primary mission in life. Uh, this is a, a summary statement of our expenses and our revenues for the prior two years. On the inner column is our latest year ending, and we have a, a certified public accountant prepare our financials each year. This is an extract from his uh, financial statements. Uh, as you can see, the uh, fiscal 19 revenues of 12,208 were buoyed up by a little bit of interest income because of some CD investments during the year, as well as a robust membership contribution on the bottom section, we've listed our predominant expense categories. Uh, in this year, we, we increased our expenses by almost $4,000, comprised by two, two items that uh, uh, explain that increment. We had paid during the year two scholarships for student scholarships in one year, as well as we had a lot of tree removal expenses compared to the, the prior year and other years. And those are the higher level expense changes during the year. But as you can see, the bottom line, it's about a break even with our revenues and expenses, which is good management by this group. 
we're very prudent with the funds we receive. On the next slide, you'll see the cash balances. And through the years, this cash balance has been established through Dave and the founders and the board of directors over the past 24 years. There's an accumulation of stewardship uh, funds that have been received. And, uh, and it's been built up, I'd say, probably um, in every year of those 24 years. There's a line item of operating expenses, operating um, uh, cash, 7134 in fiscal 19. Uh, that's what we use to uh, predominantly use for our operating expenses. So that's what we try to budget to is uh, a mean and lean organization. Very prudent. So we ended up in total at 110834 in total cash balances. Very solid. Dave's leaving us with a tremendous uh, uh, support of cash to operate. The, the predominant use of the stewardship, I'd like to add, uh, and the restricted stewardship funds on the page, uh, to really protect the land that we're responsible for. That could include legal fees, um, uh, generating baseline uh, documentation that we use to measure against uh, butter encroachments. And so that's where those funds are, are stored away um, uh, to protect the land. I have a little bit of business I have to jump to. We have a responsibility in the annual meeting to re-elect and elect our board of directors that are coming up for a uh, re-vote, uh, re a re-election. And um, I'm going to make a, a formal motion. And I'd like to have um, the usual open meeting uh, process here to follow. On this chart, on the top section within the circle, we have three directors that are open for re-election this year. Steve Frobeter, Jeffrey Ferber, and Steve Lewandowski. Um, this uh, annual meeting vote will take us for three years. The term of the, of the next term is for three years. So I'm going to make a formal vote. We vote uh, to elect the slate of director nominees to the board for each for three-year terms until the annual meeting of 2022. Steve Frobeter, Jeffrey Ferber, and Steve Lewandowski. Do I have a second in the room of members? Second. Thank you. I'll restate the motion. It's moved and seconded that we vote to elect the slate of director nominees to the board each for three-year terms until the annual meeting of 2022. Steve Frobeter, Jeffrey Ferber, Steve Lewandowski. Any discussion? Any nominations from the floor? I will close the discussion. I will ask a vote from all members in the room. Um, the question is on the adoption of the motion to elect the slate. Are those in favor say aye. 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 The ayes have it. Congratulations to the re-election of the directors. That section of meeting business is, uh, is over. So I'm going to move on to a little bit more uh, in-depth of what the trust is about, what we've accomplished in 24 years. A thousand acres of open space has, is now owned by the trust in fee or under conservation restrictions on the land. There's over 15 miles of trails that are actively used by the community. We've applied for 17 grants. We've, we've won 16 of them to help fund projects on, the, on this land that we're responsible for. We've also installed a geocaching program, which we'll talk about a bit further in the presentation. And we've also increased trust awareness through newsletters, efforts and articles, and events. So that's a high-level summary of the past 24 years. A little closer in time is 2018 and 19 accomplishments. Uh, we really had a, a, a great property given to us a couple of years ago. And during 2018 and 19, 22 School Street property was assigned to a, a Eagle candidate Eagle Scout. And it was developed 
after a tremendous cleanup of the property, and it's the Ora Cheney Conservation Area. We're going to talk about that in depth. In fact, we have the Eagle Scout here that was responsible for that project. Um, we also acquired Peliquin Open Space transfer of almost 17 acres, increased our geocaches by two on trails, and we're going to have a little section on what a geocache looks like. Um, we also got a grant from the town and installed benches on Center Trail. Uh, Cameron Three Bridges grant, and I think we have one large uh, bridge. Or how many do we actually have completed this year, Steve? We've, we've got five. So. Five? <laughs> uh, the Wyckoff Echo Trail grant was uh, awarded in uh, 2018. We had three properties, the next three line items, granted to us in 2018 annual town meeting. And those are going to be um, conservation restrictions that we're looking at acquiring for the town. So with that, um, I would like to invite uh, Aditya up here and Jeff, and I'm gonna talk about this slide with you up here. And for a little recognition for Aditya, I'll explain the project, um, and I'd like you to talk about anything you, you have. Um, Jeff was the uh, steward director, and Aditya was uh, the Eagle Scout candidate. Are you an Eagle Scout next year? Uh, I'll be it this year. Uh, my board of view is close. Good. Good to hear. Excellent. So 22 School Street is our newest property. It was completed by Aditya. The cleanup of the land site uh, was immense. This was an old time, uh, looked like a homestead, uh, where everything ever owned by the individuals were on the land. Um, so the debris was uh, uh, quite an object. Um, you, you constructed two benches and installed them. And you cleared and created a walking trail of about three-tenths of a mile yep. out and back. Correct. Right. So I'm going to bring up a, a picture here. This is a, a shot that's on the website. Is that right, Maury? I believe so. Yeah. Yep. And I took it as you walked into the, to, from the parking lot, there's a pond there. And that, you, you could be anywhere. Looking at that out in nature, it's tremendous to see that in Hopkinton. So do you want to uh, talk about the project at all? Uh, um, yeah, sure. What um, were the highlights for you? So um, yeah, it was a, it was a, a tough project. Um, we had to, there was a lot of debris, metal debris that we had to clear, especially barbed wire on the trail. That was tough. but. Um, we were able to get through it. A lot of volunteers. I want to t thank uh, Troop One in Hopkinton. There were a lot of scouts there. Um, my troop, uh, who volunteered and helped me get through the project, and especially um, Halt, um, and especially Mr. Ferber, uh, was a big help in planning the project and getting the work done. And as for members of my troop, uh, that I especially want to thank my Eagle Scout coach, uh, Mr. Kimball. Uh, he uh, did a great job in assisting me in planning the whole project and helping to, to see it through with me um, if I had any questions. Um, and my scoutmaster, Mr. Packer, uh, was also a great guiding force, and as well as Mr. Dion and Mr. Haskins, who are a few some parents in the troop that were especially helpful. Um, so yeah, um, it was a great project. The trail looks great now, so um, I hope a lot of people go out and use it. Thank you. Thanks again, Father, on behalf of everybody. Thank you, Nietzsche. Thank you. Good job. Excellent job. <laughs> so, um, more on that trail. Question. Ajit, is that mom in the back? Yes. She also deserves some congratulations uh, Raising a fine young man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I have um, a special announcement here with this uh, meeting. Um, in recognition of Dave Goldman, today's a big day for him. Um, at the end of this meeting, uh, in conjunction with that, we have a board meeting electing a new president for the first time in 24 years. And Dave, um, has relocated out of state. And so 
here's a picture of a sign on the Ora Cheney Conservation Area that Aditya and Jeff just talked about. And you can see the second slat, there's a trail name for Dave Goldman. Uh, in recognition of Dave Goldman's tireless and dedicated efforts, this is what we decided to do to honor him, uh, to leave a, a, a remembrance of his efforts for the trust in the town. As he was a founding director, uh, trust uh, director, and had all the board meetings in his house for many years. But anyway, his, his real commitment to this organization and the town uh, earned him a place on Hopkinton land. And with Dave, that, uh, congratulations to Dave. Thank you very much. The Dave Goldman Trail. Maybe when you're in, up here again, you'll take a walk on it. So I'm going to introduce uh, Maury Gasser, and he, he's going to take a uh, uh, walk through the newest acquisition that uh, we spend a lot of time on, our new website to communicate with the town and community. So you can just go to the right to advance. Okay. So I hope everyone will actually look at our new website. Uh, the old one was kind of getting long in the tooth, uh, hadn't been updated for years. Uh, we're keeping this one current. It's going to have all the current events. And above all, it's got detailed information on every trail, every property we have that has trails with, with directions. Uh, you could, it, it's an interactive website, so you could click on things and things happen. Uh, you can, it's got Google Maps on it. And, uh, uh, and we, we're, trying to, we're trying really hard to put more detail into, into those property descriptions and keep it up to date. So when you look there, the hope is that if you go out to a property, you'll see what that says. And also, by the way, we can take uh, uh, membership uh, donations and renewals uh, from the website as well. So here's a picture of it. It's, this picture is already outdated because there have been more news on the website since this. Uh, but there's a set of news items there that talk about recent things, and it has links to our newsletters. You'll see, I think that's the Aura Cheney. I can't see it from here. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's, that's the Aura Cheney uh, uh, property. And, uh, and when you go to the, the uh, menu that's, that lists all our properties, you'll see a map like this that shows all our properties in town. And you can click, you can zoom in, you can click on any one of those bars, you'll get a little blurb on what's, what the, pro the property description, and then you can read more and you'll get a page on the whole property. And here's an example of what the property page looks like. This is Cameron Woods, one of the biggest properties. Uh, you'll see there's a, a shading that outlines where the property is. There's detailed trails, points of interest, and so on. And uh, you, can, you can zoom in to that, and you can click the, but the blue button. And it kind of works right now. It's going to work better in the future. But if you click the button and you're walking through on the trail with your iPhone, you can click it, and it'll show you a blue dot that tells you where you are on the trail. So it's interactive in that way. So uh, I think that's it. Thank you, Mark. Great job. So the next few minutes, we'll talk about what we do, all of us as volunteers and uh, on the board, as well as other people that help us in town. Uh, we maintain the property. There's a, I, I kid around, but uh, the folks here have poison ivy oil on their clothes that I try to stay away from. <laughs> Uh, but they're really a uh, working board, as I call it, hard-working board, not just doing paperwork. They're out on the trails clearing, tree removal. Uh, I think Mari is a chainsaw expert in the group. Um, who else? Uh, and Steve, yeah. Um, but developing new trails to extend the trail network is important. And we also in involve Eagle Scouts, which you've uh, experienced tonight. Um, we, we work with the town and homeowners in acquiring new land to, uh, to protect. So we also work 
on a, another project called stewardship to ensure that the boundaries uh, with our abutters are not encroached. So we do a lot of homeowner education, abutting education. And so there's interface with the uh, landowners that we are close, closely in proximity with. Um, signage, uh, we're sign people. We like to tell people what you can do with the land and where the boundaries are. So th that gives you a flavor of some of the things that we're involved with. Um, we're also out there uh, promoting stewards. If anybody in the room wants to sign up to be a land steward or that sees this, uh, this tape meeting, uh, contact us through the website. There's an email. We'd love to have more volunteers. And the last thing is membership acquisition. Um, now that the website takes uh, payment on uh, e-commerce, if you want to become a member and support this organization, please do. The e-commerce site is working. Um, so a land steward, which we have assigned to each property that we have, um, is really working on maintaining the property, making sure that uh, the land is clear of, of encroachments. Uh, we're also advocating for the trust. And uh, please sign up if uh, anybody watching this wants to be a land steward. Here's the res responsibilities. You're, you'll be assigned to a trust. You do an annual walk of the boundaries. And uh, you can contact Jeff Ferber or Mavis O'Leary, or any of us, through the website email address to find out more about this. Uh, it's not a, uh, a tremendous amount of uh, your time. And we'd love to have you be part of the, the trust. So this is a, the, about the geocache program. There's some stats here. And it's an interesting program. It's, a, it, it's almost like a hobby for a lot of people that are out on the trails a lot. There's a hidden container along a trail that has GPS coordinates. And um, somebody in the room probably could do a better idea explaining some of the intricacies of the program. But the, the cache contains a logbook. It's secured and weatherproof. And you're, it's a game. You have to go find this, uh, this box that's along the trail. And uh, that's your uh, winning the game, is to fill out the log with your name. And uh, sometimes there are trinkets in most of the boxes. And you can swap uh, objects, drop one in of your own and take one, or not at all. Um, we do this so that um, people get to experience the trails. It's getting people into the properties. So we have 10 locations on trust trails right now. We're looking at adding a few more. And uh, it's a fun time. And over here is some statistics from year to date that Dave pulled uh, through 2018-19. We had 764 cumulative visits to the caches that we have. That seems a pretty good statistic. Uh, we have eight caches on this chart, not the 10. So we haven't caught up with those stats yet. Uh, but that gives you an idea of the visitations we're getting by people that are playing with uh, GPS uh, coordinates. Uh, I picked up a, a general picture. Here's an ammo box, uh, maybe a weather type plastic or metallic. And you can see it's stuffed. Uh, once you, you uh, arrive at the destination, that's what you can expect to see, see what it looks like. Um, changing subjects now. This is uh, just a summary of another aspect of our efforts on the board. Um, through the Hopkinton Community Preservation uh, Commission, through the CPA funds, over the years, uh, this shows 2017, 18, and 19. There's three sections on this chart. But we do a lot of uh, uh, submissions of applications to obtain town monies when we need to support town land that has given us a conservation restriction. So these funds that you're seeing listed on the chart would go to um, surveys so that we know where the boundaries are on the properties, as well as um, a, a stewardship donation to help us over the years to help uh, develop the baseline reporting that we're required to report and maintain, and to help us uh, with any other problems with the property. 
So that's another aspect of the, of the directors. Uh, this was a chart put together. It's been maintained cumulatively of uh, some of the goals that we set for ourselves. So this organization also does that. They look at uh, from their own review of where they want to go. And this is a self-measurement. Um, replacing Dave Goldman was on this list for quite a while. Um, but uh, we've, we've met the goal. And uh, the other items here are Increasing membership, it's a continuous process. Uh, awareness, we want to hold events going forward in the future to help uh, people understand what our properties are made of, where they are, and more about the organization itself. So we hope to hold events. Look to the website and uh, see where our news events are. Um, forming a membership committee is pending. Um, we formalized our stewardship program with uh, Jeff and Mavis, uh, having a meeting with our stewards, our land stewards. Um, and we're always looking for the next line is volunteers of more stewards, as we mentioned. Uh, we update our policies that we manage ourselves <coughs> by. We've updated our bylaws again for the same reason. And uh, of course, the ge geocache installations over the past uh, year or so. Well, that's the end of the information. And if there's any discussion that we'd like to have uh, from the board or from the audience, we can, we can move to the Q&A or just have a general discussion. Chuck. Um, I'd like to put in a, a, a plug for the stewardship program, uh, particularly to uh, the public that may not yet be involved. Uh, I moved to town two years ago, uh, was able to get involved in the Trails Club and then ultimately in Halt. And it was a great way to begin to get to know the town. And then if you're a trail steward on a particular property, you know, something in your neighborhood, something that you, you walk regularly, uh, and you have a project, a cleanup, uh, some maintenance work that you want to do, that you need some help on, you can call in stewards, other members, they join in, and um, you get the job done, and it's a fun time. It really um, gives you a feeling of satisfaction and being uh, a member a productive member of the community. So, you know, folks, if you are, um, if you live near a trail, if you use a trail, um, you know, go to the website, sign up. It really can be fun. You had a, a large project on Fruit Street, I think, with a lot of volunteers. Uh, yeah, we had, uh, 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 four of us were involved out there for uh, a long morning, uh, but a very productive uh, time. Um, you know, rehabilitating some of the trails out there that are underused. It's a fruit streets town property. Uh, it's a great area with a lot of potential, and hopefully more to come. Uh, but uh, uh, that was one. Uh, you know, one particular area. Uh, the but you know, there have been there are other situations, uh, and uh, also put in a plug for the Trails Club, which does joint maintenance project. Great to get uh, more folks involved uh, in maintaining the trails and the properties, um, uh, because uh, Hall does you know, sort of two critical roles. One is um, protecting the open space from encroachment, uh, future development. But the other is providing public access to it through the trails. And uh, maintaining those trails is part of 
Bolt's role as well. Excellent. Well said, yeah. All right, I think, hey, and I uh, hear Dave calling from Arizona. Yeah, before you close the meeting, um, I have in my hand the symbol, of, the symbol of the presidency of the land trust. Can everybody I, see that? I'm virtually <laughs> passing this to the next president. And Maury, I'm planning to see if I can find a gavel out here in Arizona, be able to send it to you. That's funny. I, I never saw you use that before here. No, I never used it in the 24 years because the meetings have never been unruly. It's always been a friendly discussion between the directors. <laughs> Well, uh, before we close, too, thanks, Dave, for everything. I'm sure people here may want to uh, say something as well. But um, Dave is a, a director emeritus for the next few years, which means he's, uh, he's on the hook for advising us. He's there for us. Uh, he will attend our board meetings via Skype or as, as needed or hopefully all the time. And thanks for your service. You're quite welcome. And with that, uh, if there's no other comments from uh, the board, I will close the meeting and adjourn the annual meeting. Sorry. Thank you very much for uh, watching us and attending. Thank you. Thank you.